For this lesson, what we're going to do is take blend shapes out of Maya and bring them into the engine to be triggered or manipulated inside of the character tool. So I have a face here, and I have three other meshes that are the blend shapes. So we have smile, wrinkle nose, and raise, and they're already attached to this main mesh. So what we can do is we can hide these by pressing the space, display, hide, hide selection. If I were to come in a little closer so we're able to see, we would notice that the vertex deformation for the blend shapes holds. So now that we have that in place, what we can do is create some joints. And we need to create joints underneath the root that correspond to these actual blend shapes. In the rigging tab, I can go and get skeleton and hold down the X key and snap it to the grid. So I'm going to duplicate it twice, and then I'm going to copy the names of each one onto each one of the joints. And then I'm going to do underscore blend lowercase weight vertex. And then I'm going to take both of these and I'm going to copy the name to the end. So now before we get ahead of ourselves, let's make a cry export node for each one of these. So I'm going to go ahead and do a tools, cry export node, and since it's the head, I want to make sure it's a skin file and I'll save that, and then I'll do the skeleton, which will be the CHR. I can grab both of these and assign a material, so we'll do face MAT, and click OK, and then I'm going to rename this to face underscore SUB for sub. Press Control S, go ahead and validate, no errors so far. So I can go to my export tab and begin to calibrate this. So since I'm already saved in the blend player, I'm going to go ahead and just click on it and it will go directly to the path on each one. But I need to make sure both of them are defined properly. So it's good to just click it and that way you know exactly where it's going. The next thing I need to do is I need to go to the animation man manager and make a new animation called default. My timeline goes from 0 to 180. My root is definitely my root. And then I need to browse to the animations folder I've made. And I'm going to explicitly declare path. So since we have that in place, what we can do is now create the multiply and divide nodes in the node editor to connect these vertex weights to these sliders. So I can go to Windows. Node Editor, and what I want to do is I want to grab the head. I'm going to bring it in, and what I'm after is this thing. So with that pulled off, we can grab all of these, and we can hide it. And then what we're going to do is grab these vertex, and I'm going to add those. So let's go ahead and open this up, and grab the weights, and we can notice that raise is the first one. So if we open this up, we want to go to the translate of the X. So I need to be able to push this out to a multiply and divide node. In order to do that, I press the tab key, and I'll type in multiply and divide, and select it. And if I go to the input, and then I scroll out the output, what I want to do is take the raise, put the input of 1X, and then I'll take the output and put it into the translate X. I'm going to do the same thing for the other ones. So tab, multiply, we'll get the second one, which is nose, so with these in place, what I can do is come off to the side here, shrink that down, and I can make sure in the input 2 that the X is set to 100. So if I close this now, and we go back to the face head, and we go to the blend shapes, if I move it, you'll notice that the actual joint offsets in the x-axis, which is what we want precisely. Go ahead and press Control-S again. We'll go to the export, 
Go to the skeleton first. Make sure that it's going to my blend player folder. So we can export the selected, it goes out fine. We'll do the head, it's going to blend layer, blend later, it seems to be correct. And then with the head selected, we want to export the default anim. And then generate the material files. So now this concludes the Maya section, so we're ready to go into the engine. And so we're ready to go into the engine and use our head inside of the character tool to manipulate the sliders.